Just watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me, I swear No, I'd do anything that I want To keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, baby, real sweet I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me I got you wrapped around my finger But don't you try to call me Watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, baby, feel free I wanna make a sweat on me What is up? Hi, Jordan. How are you? I am so good today, Dave. How are you? Doing fantastic. Excited to be here. Okay. Well, uh, I am so pumped. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to Hop and Talks, our weekly live demo series here at Hopin. And you guys, we are so excited. Today is a huge day. Typically, we only do this inside of a Hopin event. And today we have gone live on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. Twitter. So if you are joining us from any of our social media platforms, we are so excited to have you guys here today. And we have an amazing show. Uh, just to kind of give everyone the run of the land for uh, anyone who is inside of the actual Hopin event, uh, you will notice that on the right hand side of your screen, we have a chat, we have a QA, we have polling, we have different things like that. So definitely feel free to engage with us over in our engagement panel. You'll also notice in the bottom left side of your screen that we have a talk to us button. So if you hear anything today that you want to learn more about, you can click that button and actually get connected to a member of our sales team. And then the most exciting part of today, uh, in my opinion, is that we are also doing a giveaway. And now everyone is eligible for this giveaway. So whether you're joining us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, Twitter, wherever it is, we are going to be giving away a $1,200 hop-in starter plan for free for Don't. one whole year. Don't miss this, everybody. Don't miss this. This is huge. So basically to be entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is just type hashtag hop and talks in the chat, in the comments, wherever you're joining us from. And then at the end of today's show, we are going to give away the hop and starter plan. So um, you guys, I'm so excited to have you here. We have a great show. I'm going to hand it over to Dave to give you a, a little bit of history on hop in and some exciting learnings. And then I will be back to do your demo here shortly. Thank you, Jordan. See you soon. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Dave Schools. I'm the VP of multi-product growth here at Hopin. And in the next five minutes, I'm going to give you a little overview and introduction uh, into, to Hopin and who we are, a little bit of our story, as well as a top takeaway of the week. So with that, I'm going to bring up my slides and we'll start with the question, who is Hopin? If you've never heard of us, um, allow me to introduce ourselves to you. It's, it's great to be here with you today. Um, so if you've not heard of Hopin before. We've had quite the ride in the past few years. We started in 2019. We were founded uh, over in London, but we're a global company that's remote. And we started in virtual events. Uh, we, the, we started in 2019, as you know, uh, with the mission, um, better connections for a better world. And then as you know, in 2020, uh, the pandemic hit and we were kind of in the right place at the right time with one with a virtual event platform. So when the world pivoted to virtual, we hit a, a period of what we call hyper growth. We were able to raise uh, close to a billion dollars and we acquired uh, some fantastic companies that you're going to hear about uh, in, in a few minutes. And then uh, in 2022, we went through what we call a transformation of the Hopin uh, story where we, we evolved and expanded from virtual events into a multi-product suite. And I'm going to unpack that a little bit for you in, in, in the next minute or two. Um, and where we are today in 2023 is what we call Hopin Chapter 2. So that's 
the question now is what is Hopin today? Uh, so what we like to say is Hopin is the community engagement company. We are a suite of products, StreamYard, Sessions, Streamable, Hopin Events, and the upcoming Project C. We refer to our products as the community suite. So when you hear Hopin Suite, think community suite. Regardless of the Hopin product that you use, you can authentically connect with your audience from anywhere. So in the top left of, of this slide, you see StreamYard. Um, put in the chat if you've heard of StreamYard or, or used it before. It's a fantastic uh, tool, and we're actually using it right now as it natively integrates with, with Hopin Events. Um, so StreamYard is the, is the easiest way to create professional live streams, podcasts, webinars, and video content. There's also Session at session.com. This is the most interactive video meetings tool and, and workshops tool on the web. Highly encourage you to, to check it out at session.com. We have Project C. That's our upcoming community platform, which we're, we're actually going to be announcing the brand of Project C in the, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. We also have Streamable. Streamable is kind of like our YouTube. Um, it's, it's a video hosting platform. and It's super, super simple to share videos online. And then lastly, we have Hopin Events. This is where we are now. This is uh, the world's leading virtual event platform. So one of the questions we get a lot is addressing why community? What's so important or great about community? Well, community, we, as, as well as a number of other companies, are seeing and believing that community is the future of growth. And Dharmesh Shah, who's the co-founder and CTO of HubSpot, puts it this way. He says, growth has evolved. Uh, where we started with marketing-led growth, which involves a lot of content marketing, blog posts, landing pages, and inbound uh, traffic to your site, C content is what closes the deal. Well, then we evolved in, in, the, in the coming years to product-led growth, where we build network effects into our products themselves to grow the top of the funnel. Well, what we see now is community-led growth, where connection closes deals. So as Johnny Bufferhat, founder and CEO of Hopin, likes to say, we are in the business of community engagement. So regardless of the Hopin product that you use, you're going to get three things. One, authentic connection. Two, live engagement. And three, super easy to use, simple technology. Together, these components give you, our customers, marketing superpowers, a, a gr fantastic ways to engage with your audience. With that, now I'm going to jump into this week and give you a top takeaway with what we're seeing. Um, how many of you have heard of uh, ChatGPT, generative AI? And uh, if you're on Twitter, of course, uh, you're, you're, you're seeing all uh, the news as it evolves. Uh, one of the takeaways and something that we looked into is the upcoming search engine result changes that are coming through Google's generative AI updates. And essentially, this is going to impact organic SEO. And so we wrote about this this week as something that what marketers can do to protect and control more of their top of funnel pipeline. And the way to do it is to turn your traditional marketing funnel into more of a community flywheel. We published this uh, on Monday. It's on our blog, happen.com forward slash blog. And a teammate is going to drop this in the chat for you to read. So check it out. I uh, highly recommend it. And with that, I'm going to hand it back over to my co-host, Jordan. Uh, it's going to join me on screen. Hey, Jordan. I'm back. He's that back. Was, that was fantastic, Dave. Thank you so much. Totally welcome. Bye, everyone. Bye. Enjoy. Bye, Dave. Uh, there's nothing better than hearing the Hoppin story, I feel like, from uh, the number two here at Hoppin. So um, that was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, you guys, I am here to walk you through a very quick high-level demo of the Hoppin platform. For those of you joining us, I, I think I saw Franco from Frog Events in the comments section, who have been a longtime Hoppin customer. This is going to be a review, but feel free to ask any questions. And for all of those who have never seen Hoppin, uh, hopefully this will give you guys an idea into the capabilities of the actual Hoppin's virtual event platform. And then if you're loving what you're seeing, make sure to click talk to us. Make sure to enter into our giveaway for the end of this, uh, the end of this segment. We are going to do the giveaway at the 30-minute uh, mark. Uh, so hashtag hop and talks. And with that, we will jump right in. So let me share my screen. So the first thing you're going to see inside of a hop and event is essentially the ability to build registration pages. And these are not regular registration pages, y'all. These are custom branded experiences 
for your attendees in your community to really f experience what it is that they're going to be uh, experiencing the day of the event, right? So uh, you'll notice here, you can completely brand out your Canvas landing page. You're able to embed videos. We support paid tickets. We support free tickets, custom registration questions and conditional formats as well. So uh, a lot of different things you can do when it comes to the actual hop and landing pages. You're able to highlight your speakers, you're able to build out speaker profiles with links to all of their social media pages. And then you'll also notice that we have the ability to also highlight your schedule. So whether you're running a single day event, right, where it's an hour long segment or a multi-track, multi-day conference, Hopin has a ton of functionality to be able to meet your needs. And I love our scheduling tools. You have the ability to search segments. You have the ability to filter on the different tracks, add things directly to your calendar before you've actually ever even registered. So just a ton of functionality that you just don't typically see in virtual event platforms today. And then obviously also the ability to highlight sponsors, expo booths. Again, this is a canvas for you to create whatever sort of experience you're looking for your attendees to have before they've ever even registered for your event. And then once people have registered for the event, which you all obviously got to experience, uh, for those of us that actually are inside of the Hopin event, you went through registration, you got the custom emails, now it's time to walk through what an actual event looks like inside of Hopin. Now, this is a virtual Hopin venue. Obviously, this has been completely customized, right? And that's the great thing about Hopin is that you can build a simple event with just a logo, right? And some simple branding. Or if owning this space and really building out your brand is super important, you can do custom CSS. You can change the colors. You can actually put GIFs instead of static images as your event banners, which is one of my favorite ways to immediately drive engagement the moment an attendee enters into the reception area of your event. Everything on the left-hand side of your screen, those are gonna be the modules that can be turned on and off. And then you obviously have the ability to customize the names here, right? So if you don't wanna call sessions sessions and you wanna call them breakouts, you have that flexibility to do so inside of Hopin, right? Another really cool piece is something like the People tab on the right-hand side. Uh, if you've ever been to an internal event here at Hopin, uh, for those uh, of my colleagues that are joining us, we actually change the People tab to be Hopineers. So if you have a really cool way that you connect to your audience, right, and you're planning some sort of community event, you have that ability to really customize the look and feel of the experience for your attendees. Now, as we start to go through the actual virtual venue, you're gonna notice a couple of things that I always like to point out. One is gonna be the ease of use. When it comes to planning virtual events, we want it to be easy. Number two is gonna be the stability of the platform and the consistency that you're gonna see in how we sort of build Hopin events. And then the last thing is just gonna be the professional look and feel that Hopin events has. So on the left-hand side, as I mentioned, you have all of your modules, which can be turned on or off where your attendees will be navigating. In the middle of the screen, you're gonna have all of the content, right? So whether the stage is going live, whether your exhibitor halls are uh, being explored by attendees, all of that is gonna live here in the middle of the screen. And then as we move to the right-hand side of the screen, that is where you're gonna have your engagement panel. And now in the engagement panel, this is where things start to get really, really cool because you can customize this engagement panel for every single event you're doing. So you have things like chat, right? With the basic ability to chat, say where you're joining from, you're all doing that today. But you also have some really cool functionality that you don't always see in virtual event platforms. Things like the ability to send gifts. Who doesn't love gifts? Now, if you're one of the people who don't love gifts, we can turn this off. So don't worry, it is not a required feature. You don't have to have a chat filled with gifts. The other thing that I really love is the ability to do threaded messaging. So gone are the days where someone starts asking a topic and then the entire chat becomes consumed by that topic. You can actually have threaded messages where folks get notifications from the other folks who are participating in that conversation. So just a fantastic chat here inside of Hopin Events. You'll also have things like polling where you can create polls on the fly. You can schedule polls to go out at a specific time. As someone who uh, runs weekly events, I know the stress that comes with actually having to also handle the engagement aspects, right? And the last thing you wanna be doing during a live event is thinking out uh, a poll and having to schedule it in real time. So the thing that I love about our polling feature is that you can build these polls and then actually schedule them to go out at specific moments inside of your segments. So just another way that Hopin tries to make it really, really easy to use for not only attendees, but also the organizers who are building things inside of the platform. You'll then notice here in the people tab, I have tons of functionality, whether that's uh, inviting someone to a video call, scheduling, scheduling a meeting with someone, sending them a direct message. All of that functionality lives here within Hopin. It's also really cool because it's going to show me mutually available times. 
there's nothing worse than someone double booking, right? So when you're at a conference, the cool thing about Hopin is that you can actually go into someone's calendar. Sorry if you hear the sirens. I do live in the city in Chicago, so apologies. Um, you can actually go in and actually see when someone's available and schedule a meeting on their calendar. You'll then have things like Q&A. Now, the Q&A can be moderated. It can be open. It's totally up to you. But the things that I love, again, go back to the ease of use here. The best thing about our Q&A is the ability to actually filter and look at what questions have been unanswered, right? We're going to get tons of questions during your show, and you want to make sure that you can go back and get to everyone who needs to be answered. So you have the ability to filter on unanswered, sort by the latest questions or the most popular questions. And then once you've replied to someone, you then have the ability to also mark that question as answered and stay super organized throughout the entire run of show. You also have a lot of really fun features that drive engagement, right? We all know engagement's super, super important. This is one of my favorites, the ability to actually announce Q&A, right? So there's nothing like opening a Q&A section and people not realizing that it's open. We have a really, really cool announce Q&A button. We actually have it built into the Hopin event. So uh, if someone does me a favor, they'll be able to announce Q&A inside of Hopin Talks as well. So uh, just some really, really unique features there. And then where Hopin really starts to differentiate itself is going to come down to the apps and the app store integration. So one of the cool things about Hopin is that we have our own app store. So these are not just regular iframes or anything like that. These are partners who have come to us and been built into the platform, right? So you have things like Mentimeter, which is one of my favorites. If you incorporate word clouds into your Hopin event, I'm already a big fan. Um, you have things like Action Button, GoFundMe. I mean, you name it, there is an app to sort of serve that purpose. And then this is also how we uh, do all of our CRM and data integrations, right? So if you are someone who uses HubSpot, Marketo, Salesforce, or any of these other tools, Hopin has pre-built integrations, and we don't charge to use those integrations. You just got to get on a Hopin business plan. So a lot of different functionality that lives inside of the App Store that also is going to allow you to customize your engagement panel. The next big area of the platform is going to be the stage. And the stage is what those of us, uh, those of you who are joining us today inside of the actual Hopin event platform, that is what you are watching all of the content on today. And so here you'll notice that when I click into the stage, I get a brand new engagement panel with all of the same functionality that we had in the event. And then the stage is really great because it's powered by StreamYard. And I saw some love going to StreamYard in the chat, which I love to see. Uh, but StreamYard is built directly into Hopin. So this gives you a huge advantage in terms of the actual quality of the production that you are putting on inside of your events, right? So you have the ability to use the Hopin's built-in StreamYard stage, which you can see here with ability to change brand colors, themes, display logos really quickly, right? Uh, you also have the ability to do different overlays. So a really, really cool way to just up-level the production of your virtual events already built into the Hopin platform. And you also have the ability to do things like a StreamYard professional plan, a StreamYard business plan, which are going to unlock tons of new features inside of StreamYard. And my favorite thing is all of the comments pulling through, right? Comments from social. So if you're doing something like what we're doing today, where we are essentially multi-streaming out to tons of different platforms, all of the comments you guys are leaving in Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, when I look into my studio right now, I can see everything. I see all the love. So keep it coming. And also, make sure you type hashtag hop and talks. One more plug. Um, so this is essentially the StreamYard backstage area. Again, this is what powers the actual stage. If you don't use StreamYard, that's okay. You can use any other live streaming platform and RTMP into the hop and stage. So by no means are you tied to using StreamYard. If you have a really, really great studio set up, uh, you can use that as well and stream that directly into Hopin. You'll then notice here we have things like sessions. Sessions are going to be more of those breakout style sessions where the stage is meant to hold, you know, 100,000, 200,000 people for those large keynotes, welcome addresses, things like that. Sessions is going to be more intimate breakout sessions where maybe you want to have multiple people jumping up on screen, right? So when you jump into a session, they can be open, they can be moderated, they can be private. And you'll notice here that sharing audio and video in a session uh, actually is really, really simple. You essentially just select your audio and video outputs and you jump up on screen. Here I can have 50 people joining me on the stage, participating in, in the discussion. So just a really, really great way to drive engagement outside of the stage where people get a little bit more of a participatory experience. You'll then notice here we have networking. Uh, I always like to say, I think this was the thing that really differentiated Hopin right from the get-go was our networking abilities and the ability for people to form connections, right? Like that's why we go to events. It's to build community and it's to form connections. So Hopin makes this really, really easy. 
you have the ability to actually filter based on the interest that an organizer sets up. I can actually find folks who are also here for partnerships, right? Folks who are maybe from sales. And I get a curated list of recommended connections that I can then message, schedule time with, uh, or just instant video call. So a really cool way to connect with folks who are probably at the event for the same reasons that I am, right? And then the other cool piece here is the speed networking. And yes, this is meant to sound like speed dating. Uh, it's a funny inside joke here at Hopin, but it's a really, really cool way to essentially just round robin for small, intimate connections one-on-one -on -one with other attendees. And now you can do this at random to where everyone can get matched with one another randomly, or you can actually customize this to where maybe it's specific ticket types. Maybe there's someone in the audience who's planning to do a career fair, right? So you have employer tickets and applicant tickets, right? You can actually make the applicants and employers actually get paired together in the speed networking section. So a lot of really cool ways to customize this. The next area here is gonna be the expo area. This is where any sponsors, things like that can actually jump into the event and start to have their own branded space inside of your event. So you have large, medium, small style booths. If you get a chance inside of Hop and Talks, make sure you jump into the expo area and check out all kinds of product updates. We also have booths for StreamYard and Session there as well. But in a, an actual expo booth, You'll have content that can live here. So you can have pre-recorded video content living here for people to digest right when they enter the expo booth. You'll have social media and all of those types of engagement things that you're looking for in an expo um, booth. But then you also have offers, right? So whether that's going to be a click here and drive me to an external link or some sort of register interest button, that is actually built into the Hopin platform. And then the last thing that I really love is that Hopin takes it one step further. You have the video content, but you also have the ability for folks to actually share their audio and video. So if I'm the exhibitor, right, I can just jump on the stage, go live. I can do a live demo. I can do a live Q&A. There's so much engagement opportunity for me as an actual exhibitor inside of a Hopin event. And then also think through this as like maybe you're running an internal event where you don't have external exhibitors, right? You can repurpose this. If you remember, I told you you can change the names here. We do tons of internal events with large corporations who actually turn this into a resource center. So maybe you change the name Expo to resources, right? And then I can go in here. I can see DEI initiatives. I can look at a job board. Anything like that can be built into here. Again, the big thing about Hopin is that it's customized and it's a canvas to create whatever it is that you're looking to create for your attendees. Um, and so that was a pretty high level overview. I don't want to go into too much detail because obviously I want you guys to connect with someone from our sales team. So if you are in the Hopin events, uh, the Hopin events uh, directly, go ahead and click the talk to us button on the left hand side of your screen. Uh, and if you are joining us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, anywhere else, make sure to reach out on our contact sales form and connect with us. We would love to chat with you, go into more detail about how Hopin can work for your guys' events. And with that, I hear we have been flooded with questions. So I'm going to bring up my buddy, Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm um, great. You and Dave, man, you are legends. I love the flow, love the demo. It's been stop, amazing. Stop. Don't make my head bigger than it already is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, this is so fun. This is my favorite part of my week. So uh, Ivan, I'm so happy to have you here. For those of you that don't know Ivan, Ivan is actually the head of design here at Hopin Events. So uh, everything you see that you love in terms of design, that's this man. Yep. Um, yeah, but we have many questions. All right. I also, I also put together maybe a little plug for the expo booth. If you yeah. are still in the, if you are still exploring the event, if you navigate to the expo area, there are some product updates that we put together for you. So there's a session improvements, new dark theme that is coming. I think this week or next week. Yeah. Uh, disable reception. So you will now be able to disable reception for your events. If you're running, for example, just one stage or just one round table, you don't want people to land in the reception first. You can navigate, you can land them straight where you need them. And the last um, was the uploading your recording. So if you are happen to using not StreamYard uh, or any other service to use uh, using the RTMP, you can then you'll be able to upload your own recordings to hop in. And so that's it for the product updates. Yeah. Go there. One is like one minute each. Uh, it's easy to consume, but I love that to questions. No, I love it. I love it. And also the expo booth will be open. So if you're joining us in Hop and Talks, you want to kind of like stay here and then go and peruse the expo booths afterwards, you're welcome to do that. Also, again, as we go through questions, don't forget to put hashtag Hop and Talks for a chance to do the drawing. We're going to do that in five minutes. Um, I am going to start going through questions. Ivan, I'm so glad you're here because I'm sure some of these are going to be <laughs> better questions for you. And we are sorting by most popular. So if you are in the actual event, 
uh, go ahead and upvote your questions. And then if you're joining us on any of our social pages, drop your questions in the chat and in the comments, and we're actually starring those and we'll get to those as well. So uh, first question uh, is comes from um, blind guy, his wife. Can I start an event and hop in then multi-stream parts of it through StreamYard or is the stream live once I start the event? Great question. You can 100% start an event and hop in, right? And then use StreamYard to stream different parts of the event. That would require you using essentially one of our external StreamYard plans. So you would want to do that or setting up different stages and things like that, but 100% accomplishable. If you want to test setting it up, reach out to us in the talk to us button. And one of our reps can meet with you and sort of make sure that you're all covered from that. So uh, great question. Um, I'm going to mark that one as answered. The next question comes from Lucy Gray. And she says, does Hopin publicize events taking place on their Hopin, on their platform anywhere? Uh, for example, like an event, right? Right. So Lucy, I'm assuming you are talking about if you're running an event, uh, do we have any sort of like explore page where people can discover your event? Uh, it is not something that we currently have. We actually used to have a hop and explore page, um, but this is really good feedback. If this is something that people have an appetite for, let us know in the chats and in the comments. Uh, and if it's going to happen, I mean, Ivan would be directly involved. <laughs> so uh, we can definitely take this feedback to the engineering team, but yep. not something we currently do. Um, all right, cool. Let me mark that one as answered. Next question here. If your event has multiple, and this is from Ezra, if your event has multiple segments all held on the main stage and one of the assigned speakers completes their segment and is removed from the stage, would they be able to watch the rest of the event as an attendee without appearing backstage? 100%. So if you are backstage, there's a really cool button in the bottom of the studio that actually says, it's got a Hopin logo and it actually takes you directly back into the event. So after I've done my segment as a speaker, I can actually click that button and go right back into the event and actually experience the event as an attendee. So 100% uh, can do that, Ezra. Great question. And I would just add, if you're just a round table, uh, you can just jump on stage and jump off stage and just keep watching it uh, if you're using just a, th those more intimate session experiences. I love it. I saw he just said he's going to start using Hopin more. That's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. I love that. Um, okay, next question. If we're hosting a free event, we want to require that participants register in order to access the event in live stream. How does Hopin enable view only access for registered participants only? Great question. Uh, this came from Michael. Michael, you do have the ability to do that. So inside of Hopin events, you 100% can actually just turn on to where people have to give you uh, their email, their first name, their last name to actually access the content. So outside of the live streaming we're doing to all of our social pages, you also have the Hopin Talks event on Hopin, which required you to actually register to be able to watch all of the content here today. So you 100% can do that. If you have questions, Michael, or need help with that, reach out to the team on the Talk to Us button and we will 100% make sure you're set up for success. Great question. I will only add, we also have custom forms, so you can really go wild yeah. in, your, in your questionnaire, right? Like the registration you set up, it can be so custom. Um, I just want to make sure we have only two minutes remaining. Uh, so just to squeeze in the giveaway, I'm not, yes. maybe we can do one more question, but up to you. Yeah. You, Let's try to power through the, I mean, maybe I have like two more questions. Let's we'll see if I can do two it. Two more questions. Can two we get questions. the links to the example landing pages uh, or are they somewhere in this hop and experience or resources section? Carly, we 100% can get that to you. I saw someone replied. We will make sure we get you a link to example landing pages. So great question. Uh, and then another person asked about landing pages. So we'll let someone handle that question in the chat. Um, and then also what are some best practices that Hopin would recommend to help highlight sponsors during a virtual event, Michael? Uh, that is a great question to talk to the sales team about. So click talk to us and I will ensure that whoever you end up with, uh, shows you all of the ways to highlight sponsors and drive revenue at your event. So, and there's so many, there's just yes. so many ways I thought yeah. about it and it was like, well, there's like five different ways I can like just pop someone up and say, go it's here, a, do that. It's a whole 30 minute conversation. I can't even cover it all here. So, <laughs> okay, let's jump to the giveaway. I know we're running low on time. So uh, we are gonna pull this up. We got 15 entries. Uh, we are gonna draw and announce a winner. So let's go. Let's go, drum roll. This is my most favorite part of the entire <laughs> thing. I get so excited. Who is it? Okay, Olive Plus Media. Olive you Plus have Media. Free starter plan. Uh, I will reach out to you via email and get you all set up. You guys, we just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. 
Um, this was so fun. Ivan, thank you for joining me. Dave is no thank longer you. out here, but Dave, I know you're watching out there. Thank you for joining me and to all of our customers, <laughs> prospects. Uh, we look forward to talking to you next week. We'll see thank you later. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, team. Bye-bye. Just watch me break in your sleep. You're falling into me, touch me. Watch me break